seems like you can do just about anything with cauliflower. You can mash it instead of potatoes. You can even grind it and use it instead of rice. I've even had a pizza crust that used cauliflower as the base, but Elle is gonna show us an incredible recipe that's gonna have you and me bypassing that basket of buffalo wings. That's right. Vegan buffalo cauliflower bites are the perfect thing to serve your friends who don't wanna eat things with parents. I love that line. Yeah. It's just so good. But you can't take cauliflower and just treat it like chicken and think you're gonna get the same results. It doesn't work like that. Today we're gonna to start from the bottom up starting with the sauce. So we have here a quarter cup of coconut oil over low heat. In this case, we're not using butter because it's kind of not vegan. It's totally not vegan. Exactly. So we're starting with this great coconut oil. To that, I'm gonna add half a cup of hot sauce. And that's a pretty mild flavored hot sauce. You wouldn't want to use something like with a really high amount of Scoville units, like a Tabasco or something like I that. I don't think so. Yep. I think a mild is better. One tablespoon of brown sugar and two teaspoons cider vinegar. Okay. So in this recipe, the coconut oil acts like the butter. It re-solidifies when it cools, and so it's gonna cling to the bites just right, and we just really kinda like the flavor. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna let this heat until it combines. In the meantime, we're gonna start with our ranch dipping sauce. Oh, because perfect. What's a buffalo bite without a dipping sauce? You have to have something cool and creamy to dip it into. And this recipe is starting with a half a cup of vegan mayo. So there are three basic dairy-free yogurts. There's soy, almond and coconut. In this case, we're using coconut because the flavor is more neutral. We're gonna add two tablespoons of coconut yogurt, one teaspoon white wine vinegar, an eighth teaspoon of both salt and pepper, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of chives, and one and a half teaspoons of dill. Okay. And we're just gonna whisk this together. I love how the coconut yogurt makes it nice and thick. And you know what else is pretty awesome about this sauce? What's that? That awesome you can sauce. make it four days in advance for your Super Bowl party or your girls' night. We're just gonna cover it with a little plastic wrap and escape to the refrigerator. Perfect. So what is coconut oil? Well, it's made by extracting oil from the meat of coconut, and it can be found in most supermarkets these days. There are two forms you can find. There's refined, which has almost no coconut taste or aroma, and there's virgin, which smells and tastes like eating fresh coconut. Now, it's a great substitute for butter. It's solid at room temperature, but it melts easily. And since we usually prefer a neutral tasting fat, we use refined in most of our recipes. So Bridget, we have two quarts of oil heating here up to 400 degrees, just standard vegetable oil. Okay. So now with chicken, you could just coat it with cornstarch. It'd be good to go because it's already moist. Exactly. Cauliflower is obviously a little dry. So we're gonna start with about three quarter cups of cornstarch here. To that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of cornmeal. In the test kitchen, we tried a plethora of coatings. We tried flour, panko, cornmeal was great. It stuck to the cauliflower. It gave us a nice hearty crunch. Mm. We're adding a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So we're just gonna mix this well. We're gonna set that aside. We're going to create a flavor base that's gonna help our dry mixture stick to the cauliflower. Sounds good. We're gonna start with the flavors of hot sauce, one tablespoon of hot sauce, and we're gonna add two thirds cup of coconut milk. I'm just gonna give this a little whisk. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bridget, it's time to break down our cauliflower. We want one and a half to two inch pieces, and I'm just gonna start by cutting off some larger stalks. And so if you could just break these down, like this would be too... A little too big? Yeah, that's a little too big, so maybe half that. All right. Okay, this is about the size we're looking for. So the general rule of thumb is if it looks too small, it is too small. Okay. All that right. Looks, that looks great. So I'm going to add these to our wet mix. So we're just gonna make sure these are well coated, make sure this coconut milk and hot sauce mixture gets all in the crevices. That's gonna give us an even fry. All right, that looks awesome. I'm gonna just sprinkle this cornmeal cornstarch mixture on top, and it's gonna stick because we have that great thick batter. And you're gonna just gently fold this. You don't wanna break your cauliflower into smaller pieces. Now all we need to do is let the oil come up to temperature and we're ready to fry. It's fry time. Great. Okay, Bridget, our cauliflower bites are all coated. Our oil is at 400, we're ready to go. I'm gonna add about one to two bites to the oil at a time, mostly because this batter's pretty thick and we just wanna make sure that they don't stick together. And I'll drop some more. Okay, so once you have half of your batch of cauliflower in, you're just gonna let them fry for about three minutes. 
And you'll know they're ready because they'll start to flow to the top and they'll be nice and golden brown. Okay, yes. perfect. I think this first batch is ready. Oh, they look good. They look great. Okay, so what's most important now is that we make sure to allow the oil to come back to 400 degrees before we start the next batch. We just wanna make sure that they all look the same and they all taste the same and they're all crunchy. Perfect. All right, Bridget, our second batch is ready to come out. Oh, and they look as amazing as the first batch. Beautiful. I'm super, super happy with this. All right, I'm gonna add these fried bites to a half a cup of our hot sauce mixture that we made earlier, and we're gonna reserve the rest for dipping. All right, so I'm just gonna give them a little gentle stir. And as you can see, it's sticking without ruining our crust. It's no sogginess. And they're the right color now. Yes. Yeah? These look so good. Are you ready to eat? Yes. And right. we also have a little bit of our vegan ranch dressing. All right, I'm going full game day. I'm getting my fingers right Do in it. there. Do it. Mm. Crunchy. Despite it going into that sauce right at the end, still super crisp and crunchy. My chicken days might be over. Oh, well my chicken day might be over. My chicken day. <laughs> Serve this at game day, you're gonna be so happy and all of your friends are gonna be happy too. So this incredible recipe starts with a classic buffalo sauce made with coconut oil. Batter cauliflower pieces in coconut milk and then dip them in a crunchy cornmeal and cornstarch combo. Fry the bites in batches and serve piping hot with a vegan ranch dip. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, buffalo cauliflower bites ready for your game day. Mm. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.